Hey guys, Hiraku here. And first off, big thank you to Cracked Warrior for letting me jump into his account to showcase this champion. So he sent me a message saying that he wanted to participate in the unique champion build, unique champion synergy, unique champion type competition that I had going on two months ago, but I'm doing it again this month, March. So if you want to join as well, definitely send me a message on Discord. I can either jump into your account or I can build a champion myself and we can test it out like that. Now, two months ago, I believe we did, we had all the videos done. At the end of the month, we took votes in the Discord channel, which you can join down below in the comment section, and I should have it linked in the description as well. So definitely join that. Send me a message if you're interested in joining. We have cash prizes for the first few places and then a gym prize typically for number three. Depending on how many people we have turn out, it may be more. So jumping into the video today, what we're going to be talking about is this champion who honestly, every time I seen her, I was thinking feeder, feeder, feeder. She's not that good. Her skill set. It has an attacks one enemy on her ability one. And to be honest, I was like, what good could this be? And after testing her and playing around with her a little bit on Cracked Warrior's account, this actually hits pretty hard. Now, this is not where she shines whatsoever. She has an ability two that removes all debuffs from the target ally and then heals the target. The heal is proportional to this champion's attack. She's a support champion, but she has a respectable amount of attack. 1,079, a respectable base attack compared to Aethel's 1,189. Chaplain's not that bad, but this isn't even where she shines. Get it booked down. It's a three-turn cooldown. A heal on a three-turn cooldown is never a bad thing. Now, her ability three is attacks all enemies and heals all allies by 25% of the damage inflicted. This is where she shines. This is where I think she is quite possibly the champion who has the single biggest one ability heal in one turn. I don't know of any champion who can heal for more than what I'm about to show you guys how much she heals for. Now, it does take some setup, and but it's it's a lot of heals, okay? So let's go down here and see how he's had her built. And like like I said, she uh, her heal scales off of this champion's attack. Her ability one scales off of her attack. So you can build her with some attack. Now, this specific build is just pushing damage, just pushing as much attack damage as he could get without breaking his other champions i assume she has 4300 attack very low speed and 220 percent crit damage so she's built very well for sure she's ignoring a lot of defense so what i'm about to show you guys is going to be definitely with a ton of defense ignored her masteries helm smasher very solid masteries this is what cracked warrior has seemed to do very well with and i think it works great from what i've tested her so let's jump in here the spiders and see how much she can heal for. Now, this isn't even her full potential. So we could throw champions in here like Gurptuck, champions like Bad L to, to really maximize her damage, but we don't have those champions on this account, so we're just gonna test it out with what we have. So we do decrease defense and weaken on as many people as we can possibly get it on. We got a few resists there, not a huge deal. Um, we're not gonna use Rural Guards A3, he'll kill all the Spiderlings and we don't want that. We'll just use Monsters A3 ability there. And now let's see what chaplain will heal for so she's going to heal like after she damages all these spiderlings okay keep in mind she is weak affinity so if she was strong affinity she would have no weak hits if she was neutral affinity no weak hits but since she's weak affinity there will be some weak hits here now see how hard she hits for so you see a lot of numbers pop up there a lot of green numbers for heals crazy high amount of numbers let's go ahead and leave the battle and see what she healed for now this is something that's kind of interesting all right, so you can see that she did 553,000 damage, but she healed for 224,000. All right, now if you recall, that ability three says that it heals for 25% of the total damage inflicted. She didn't use any other heals, so I'm not really sure why it's healing for basically 50% of the damage dealt, unless this, unless this number is wrong or something. But honestly, I don't know, guys. Let me know. I mean, it doesn't look like any of the Spiderlings have died. So I'm not really sure. Maybe she's actually healing for significantly more than what her skill set actually says. And that's not the first time that a skill set or an ability reads one way, but performs a completely different way. So that's an example of her in the spider, the spider's den or whatever it's called. Spider's, uh, yeah, spider's den. Now let's go ahead and look at her in Doom Tower. And Cracked Warrior said that he's actually used her in the support secret room on Doom Tower instead of Seer, that she did, did very well. Let me go ahead and see what room I was doing earlier. I think I was doing this room to test. Crap, I, I didn't select her in the team. It's hard to test a champion if you don't have them in the team. So I wanted to compare 
chaplain with ethos okay now this his ethos doesn't have savage gear doesn't have cruel gear but his stats are definitely respectable okay 4600 attack 282 percent crit damage 100 percent crit rate let's go ahead and see what he does compared to chaplain now remember she does have savage and she does have cruel gear on their masteries very similar though he's still going to do the helm smasher ignore the defense or chance to but let's see her a1 compared to his a1 now, I'm not going to attack a champion that she's strong affinity against because Ethos is always neutral affinity. So what I'll do is I'll just attack a force affinity champion. So we'll see how much Ethos hits for. Hit for 100,000 damage, all right? Now, that was, a, that was a Helm Smasher proc. Earlier, Helm Smasher did not activate, and he hit for, I believe, 76,000. So let's see what Chaplin hits for. 79,000, okay? The Helm Smasher did not proc. Earlier when it did activate, she hit for, I believe, 94,000. So if we could get a Helm Smasher to activate on Chaplain, which is a, what, 25, a 50% chance, I believe it is? I think it's 50% chance to activate on Helm Smasher. Then they're going to do pretty close to the same amount of damage from that A1. Now, I'm definitely not saying that Chaplain's as good as Ithos for doing damage. She's definitely not. Ithos, if built similarly, would do a significant amount of damage. But for a champion whose ability one is just a single target, one hit ability, she does have very good damage potential from that ability. Now, if you look at her ability three here, the exact same thing, not necessarily comparing it to Ithos here, we'll just use his A1 again. Let's go ahead and see what she hits for when attacking everybody with her AoE, not on a level where it's just strictly looking at how much she can heal, but instead how hard she can hit, plus what is this heal looking like? Is it actually something you could consider bringing into other areas of the game. So we got it in 1x speed, 73,000, 67,000. Definitely a pretty solid amount of damage. And remember, 25% of that, supposedly, I mean, for some reason, I think it's going to be a little bit different than 25%. This doesn't make sense, okay? She she healed for more than she dealt, damage-wise. So is am I seeing something wrong here, or is this champion's numbers not adding up to somebody else? Because... I don't know why she's dealing 263,000 damage, but yet she's healing for more than what she dealt damage-wise. And she only used one ability. I don't know. It's puzzling to me. Let me know. Do you know why? Is this champion's skill set just off? Is she much better than expected? Or are these numbers just off? I wouldn't be surprised if these numbers are just off, but who knows? When it comes to where is Chaplin actually going to be used for and who is Chaplin for? Well, first off, before I get into that, let me show you her books. I think she requires 10 books. So a very, very low amount, very easy to book up. She's a rare. Um, so she requires three there, three there. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 books total. Definitely very, e very easy to book. Now, who would Chaplain be for? Chaplain would be for people who are looking to push in Faction Wars. If you need a, a healer for your Faction Wars team, Sacred Order is a team that was pretty difficult for me. With Astralon being the recent fusion, it may not be as difficult, but it's a faction where... It definitely helps to have some champions like Chaplin who can bring a very, very useful skill kit with a debuff removal plus a heal plus a very strong A3 AoE ability and then an A1 that's actually pretty respectable as well. So if you're looking for Faction War, very good champion. If you're low level, early game, maybe Bronze, Silver Arena, you're going to be facing a lot of Magic Affinity champions. And remember, she's Force Affinity, so she is strong against Magic. So if you throw her in your arena offense or defense, she's definitely going to mess up a lot of those teams in low-level arena where most of the champions are magic affinity. Let me jump in here and give you guys an example. Now, remember, her speed is kind of low, but we'll do this. I mean, this is a low team power. We'll see how hard she can hit. This Duchess is going to be an issue because she is weak affinity against Spirit. So Duchess won't take a ton of damage. But let's go ahead and see... What it could look like assuming our venus doesn't just kill everybody okay she didn't so let's see how much damage is dealt so she deals eighty-three thousand damage it's a pretty solid hit now granted this is fairly low gold four and she is geared pretty well but as you can see she's not a champion who if you don't have an arena nuker she could definitely slot in for that spot she's not going to be like an Ithos, doing that much damage necessarily, especially if he's geared out in gear similar to hers with all that damage, that, um, defense ignoring. If you have a champion like that, of course, don't bring that, don't bring Chaplin instead of them. But if you're early, mid-game, and you need a champion who can do some nukes, 
Specifically, I think she really shines in PvE content where her heal can be utilized. In Arena, the heal is kind of dead because you don't really get extra turns, so you, there's no real reason to heal. It typically, it's just one turn and done. But in PvE content, Dragon, uh, Fire Knight, Ice Golem, Spiders, anything like that, the heal is very, very beneficial. So definitely, if you're looking for a champion who can heal very well, be used in multiple areas of the game, and honestly, apparently, have a pretty good lifespan as well, like actually worth taking the 60, I do think Chaplin is worth looking into. And it's a champion who, like I said, for a long time, I always told people, beat her, she's useless. My opinion has definitely changed. Her rating is actually pretty decent. So if you have her, if you need a champion with some good heals, potential nukes, definitely look into investing in her. Now, the next video, I may be potentially testing out Chaplin as a Spider 20 tank. Cracked Warrior said he's interested interested in building her for something like that. So definitely stay tuned. There may be a video coming out soon if Chaplin can tank Spiders 20. Guys, so let me know, Did you do you enjoy these types of videos spotlighting champions who don't get talked about that much and have actually very strong uses? Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one.